and let's just kind of like go over some of the specifications of it it's a 110 volt it's 60 hertz the package size you know we don't need to worry about all that 1500 watt current is 13.6 amps and it weighs 1.7 kilograms so let's just open this thing up very cool looking package look at that packages right there pull it like that oh this looks cool looking at it you get a little set of instructions here it looks like there's a little bit of assembly you've got a little stand this is great for someone that might need like something in an office under your desk that's what i got it for wow this thing looks extremely premium that thing looks good well see it doesn't want to set yet but then you have these two little thumb screws here. I'm glad they did it where you don't need to have to get tools. This is a tool list. Okay, we have all that. What I like to do is lay all the parts out. Here's everything we need. You get these two thumb screws right here. You get the actual unit itself. And this is the top. And you know, it says an electric heater. And it looks like it has fan off low high 1500 watt on and off. You want to turn this like that. And it looks like, yeah, that's how it goes. It goes just like that. So that lays like that. Then you take one of these. Pretty simple. It goes on the self-threaded inserts on the thing. Get them started here. Be sure not to cross-thread them. There we go. Okay, I got it all like set up here. You just basically put these two thumb screws in there. Remember to have that little piece right here above that. And what it does, it does not let it flip over like that, but you can adjust it facing up. And not many heaters have that. That's one of the features of this that I really wanted was a feature to go up. I just plugged it in. So let's go ahead and let's look over this thing. Turn it on there. Okay, so you would leave this on. Check that out. You would leave that on. So that's in the on position. This is off. That's just a fan. That's cool. That's just a regular fan for cooling you down. And then if you want, you could go low. This is like, I think this is 700 watts of heat right here. So I got my heat gun. I let it run for a minute. Woo, 165.7. 195, 249, two. Let's go ahead. Let's turn it on high. Now it's officially on high. You don't want to get too close to that thing. This thing has an automatic power overheating shutoff on it. 132, 144. Obviously, you don't want to have this thing scorching. I think what the high does, it just blows a lot harder. That feels really good. That's going to work perfect. That looks like it stays right around 160 to 250. That is a really good temperature. You obviously don't want to be right up against it or it'll burn you, but then you get back here and you're fine. That feels great. But that's all I got today, everybody, on the, the Ellenvoke electric heater. See y'all in the next video.